So a man of Christian faith claims that his God exists and is the one true God. However, he doesn't have enough solid evidence, or in fact no solid evidence, to back his claim. So should we believe that God exists just because he said so? I bring this up because it's the same sort of situation with the whole mattress girl thing. She claims that she was raped in August 2012, yet despite an investigation by Columbia University, there was no evidence to back a claim and thus the man was found not guilty. And yet so many people claim that she was raped and that he is a rapist and follow her after the whole mattress girl situation from 2014 to 2015. The reason people are in doubt is because there's not enough to prove that she is telling the truth. Not to mention that she's strong enough to admit that she was raped, something that a lot of actual rape victims are not strong enough to admit. And she's strong enough to carry a full one side, one bedded mattress for an entire year from 2014 to 2015. Yet when she could have filed criminal charges against the man, she said that she was too exhausted. This just adds on to the whole doubt of her story being true. I'm not here to say that she's lying, but I'm not here to say that she's telling the truth either. The fact of the matter is that there's no evidence to prove her story, and yet so many people, people who don't even know her personally, are backing her, saying that she was raped and that a rapist got away free. So how come people are so eager to believe her story despite there being a lack of evidence? It's the same issue with why atheists don't believe in a god. 